Welcome, I'm Andrea Mucci, CTO at Claritia and Principal Architect of Minos, a framework that makes um, creating microservices quick and easy. In this video, we will see how to create a microservices architecture in a matter of minutes. To do this, we are going to follow a very simple recipe. Our ingredients will be these command lines. With them, we will configure a project, define the database we want to use, the event broker, and many other things. Let's see how it works. The command line tools is called Minos. We will start creating new project by typing Minos new project recipe. The command line we will ask us for the name of the project, the version, the description, and which deployment method we want to use. In this example, we will use Docker Compose, but Minos also offer a deployment automation on Kubernetes. With this, we have created the structure of the project. We can see here the result. We can see that we already have a series of folders, the external, where we store our infrastructure configurations. The microservices will contain the microservices that we are going to create. Front is where you can include the code for the front end of your application. And playbooks will contain the Kubernetes deploy files. This is the recipient, but we are still missing the ingredients. For example, if we have a look of the Docker Compose file, it does not contain any information yet, but it, this is going to change very soon. Let's add the database ingredient. The command line will ask us the name of the deployment we want to use. In this case, we'll choose self-hosted, that is Docker Compose. Now, if we go to the folders, we see in the Docker Compose that Postgre were automatically added. And also in the external folder, there is now a Postgre folder that includes a Docker file and a SQL file with the futures SQL commands to create databases for our microservices. It's time to add the rest of the ingredients, like the event broker, the API gateway, and the discovery service. We start by setting the brokers, which in this case will be Kafka. and we select the self-hosted. Then we set the API gateway. In this case, we use internal minus API gateway. And now the discovery service. Minus is pluggable, so there is a growing number of options for each of the components that you can use, Kafka, Kong, RabbitMQ. If you don't find one that you are interested in, please let us know, or even better, you can become a contributor. Now we can check again the Docker Compose. As you can see, the Docker Compose has been automatically configured with all the necessary services. Everything is ready to start adding microservices. Creating the structure of microservice is as easy as typing 
minus new microservice foo. Then we will uh, answer a series of questions about the name of the microservice, which kind of language we want to use, in that case we use Python, the version of the microservice, the root entity, that is the data model for which Minas offer an ORM, and uh, which kind of package manager we want to use, the deployment, as well, Docker Compose, the description, the author, and voila, the microservice is ready. The Docker Compose has been automatically updated with all the information necessary for the microservice. And a folder has been created to store everything related to the microservice. Now we will see how to define the data structure of the microservices and write and read operations. With that, we will have covered everything. First, we are going to define the structure of the data that we will use in the microservice. This is done through the aggregate.py. As you can see here, the command line has automatically added a foo class, where we can define the attributes of the foo data, such, for example, as the name with a string typing. It's also been created a foo aggregate class that will contain the methods to carry on CRUD operations to our entities. For example, the operation of creating a foo object. Now we will move on the writing and reading operations handled by the command and query services, since minus use the CQRS pattern. First, let's see the writing operation in the command service. In this service, we will define the routing using decorators. We can see that the command line has already created two routings, one for the HTTP posts and one for a command event coming from the broker. So Minos, with two simple decorators, offer us the possibility to manage any routing, even commands or events, which we all know that are the most complex parts of projects with microservices. Just to avoid any doubt, you don't need to worry about anything else like developing a client or an event receiver or think about how to add the impotence. All this come turnkey with minus. Last but not least, we will see the query service. This service is in charge of read operations. As you can see, Minus has automatically added a lot of code. This is because, by default, the query service integrate SQL Alchemy and offer a structure with its model and repository. Also, in this service, there are decorators that can root HTTP GET command and even captures. So, to sum up, we have aggregates for the data model, common service for the write operations, and query service for reading operations, only three files for the business logic of the project. So, we just have to launch our Docker Compose to complete our recipe. In a minute, our full microservice is up and running.
This is just an introductory tutorial, but you can do almost any kind of project with Minos. Feel free to, to try it yourself, and if you have any doubt, let us know through Gitter, Stack Overflow or GitHub. We are always happy to help you. Also, we are doing more specific tutorials. If you have any idea that would you would like to see, share it through GitHub discussion and we will put it on our list. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in our next tutorial. Arrivederci.